Hello, 4K, and welcome back. I'm so happy that you're here. I figured out my little video up there so you can see me. Um, today I'll be doing another read aloud, and this time it is called Prairie Chicken Little, and it's by Jackie Mims Hopkins. At the end of our story, I'm going to attach a small activity for you to complete, then you can upload it to Class Dojo or just send me a message through email. Here we go. Prairie Chicken Little. Out on the grasslands where bison roam, Mary McBlicken, the prairie chicken, was scratch scratching for her breakfast, when all of a sudden she heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Oh no, she exclaimed, a stampede's a-coming. I need to hightail it back to the ranch and tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan they'll know what to do. So away Mary ran, lickety-splickety, as fast as her little prairie chicken legs could carry her. Mm, do you see them behind her? On her way to the ranch, Mary came upon Jeffrey Snog, the prairie dog, who was soaking up some sunshine. Good morning to you, barked Jeffrey. No time for good mornings, warned Mary. A stampede's a-coming. How do you know that this is so, asked Jeffrey. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Jeffrey. Come with me to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hit the trail, barked Jeffrey, and away the pair ran, lickety-splickety, toward the ranch. Soon they met Boo Grabbit, the jackrabbit, who was nibbling on some sweet grass. Where are you two going in such a hurry, he asked. A stampede's a coming, said Mary. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan. How do you know that this is so, asked Boo. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede, yes indeed, said Boo. Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. Let's hop to it then, said Boo. And they lift, and they lit off across the prairie, lickety-splickety, toward the ranch. Before long, the trio came across June Spark the Meadowlark, who was building her nest in the tall prairie grass. What is going on, asked June. A stampede's a come in, chorused the trio. How do you know that this is so, asked June. I heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling, I did, said Mary. A stampede? Yes, indeed, said June. Do you see what's happening? This book is starting to repeat itself. Hmm. So right now there's four of them. Who do you think they're gonna see next? Come with us to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, hollered Mary. What are we waiting for, chirped June. And away they all flew lickety-splickety toward the ranch. It wasn't long before Slim Brody, the sly coyote, spotted them making their way across the prairie. Why, well, hello there, my fine feathered and furry friend. What's the big rush? A stampede's a coming. We're heading to the ranch to tell Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan, said Mary. It's your lucky day, said Slim. I just happened to know a shortcut. He had no intention of taking them to the ranch. Oh, what do you think the coyote is going to do? They're all little animals. Hmm, look at his sharp teeth. Oh my, where's he going to take them? Indeed, he led them across the plain, over a hill, through a pass, around a bend, and down a gully to the entrance of his den. His den is his habitat. That's where he lives. What's this, squawked Mary. This, snarled Slim, is the passage to the shortcut. He flashed a toothy smile and closed in on Mary McGlicken and the others. Look at their faces. How do they look right now? And look at the coyote. How is he looking? The fine feathered and furry friends all started clucking and barking and thumping and chirping as loud as they could. That looks crazy. 
Cowboy Stan and Red Dog Dan heard the ruckus and came charging across the prairie toward the den. Dan made a beeline for Slim Brody and chased that coyote lickety-splickety far, far away. Look at that. <laughs> What's going on? asked Dan. A stampede's a coming, cried Mary. How do you know that this is so? asked Dan. But before Mary could open her beak to speak, everyone heard a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling. Yes, indeed. Why, that's not a stampede, said Stan. That's your stomach. There's only one way to head off a rumbling and a grumbling and a tumbling stomach. You need some grub. Oh my goodness. So Cowboy Stan cooked up a fine supper for those critters, and that took care of Mary McFlickin's stomach stampede, lickety-splickety, yes, indeed. Look at some of the food they're eating. Do you think animals really know how to cook? <laughs> oh, and look at, there's the coyote, howling in front of the moon. Can you howl? Howl! And then look at right over here. That's his friends eating. The end. All right, friends. I'm so glad that you all came for my story. And then look forward to the activity. I will post the description in Class Dojo or on the YouTube channel. So then feel free to send it to me. And I look forward to looking at your work. Bye, all.